What's up everybody? I am Mega Retro Man and this topic is all the NES games that I've beat. This will be done in multiple parts and this topic was inspired by Michael B the Game Genie. So sir, thank you very much for creating such a topic. So without further ado, let's get to the list of games. 1942. This game I beat during an online gaming competition. I was never really a fan of the 1940 games when I was younger, but now that I'm better at shoot 'em up games, this was a little bit easier to complete. Abadox. This also was done after an online gaming competition. This was one of the games during the competition. I didn't complete it then, but I was so hellbent on trying to finish the game that I finally did after the fact. Bad Dudes. This game I had when I was younger, and I used to play it all the time. Easy to beat, saving that president, yeah, yeah, I did it. Battle of Olympus. This game needs a lot more love than it gets. This was such a fun game, and I recommend it to anybody. Battletoads. Yeah, anybody who knows me has seen me play and beat Battletoads. Battletoads and Double Dragons, the ultimate team. This one, I think, is a little bit tougher than the Super Nintendo version, but it is what it is. It's... it is what it is. Bubble Bobble. This one was tough. I did this when I was younger and, um, had... First had an assistance with a two-player because an old friend of mine and I would play this constantly. We did it then, and then after that, I played it by myself and finished off the last boss. Bucky O'Hare. This is one of my favorite Konami games. And, yeah, this I've spent lots of time on this game. It's a lot of fun. Captain Skyhawk. I did this when I was much younger and played this on a more regular basis. Not easy at first, but once you get it, it gets easier. Castlevania 1. Now, anybody who's seen my channel recently saw that I completed Castlevania in one life. So, that's a no-brainer. Castlevania 2 Simon's Quest. Funny story, I didn't know the game as well as I do now, but after constant game freezing and having to reset the game, the game just got stupid easy, <laughs> and I found things really quick. Castlevania 3 Dracula's Curse. This is my favorite of the three, for obvious reasons. Great soundtrack, great gameplay. It has its difficulty, but it's... oh man, I, I like this one. Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers. I played this a lot when I was younger, and it's not really that hard. It's pretty easy. Contra. Anybody who's watched John Riggs' um, channel or any of his videos, he'll say that he has seen me play through Contra on a Play Choice 10. And yes, I have beaten the game in one life. Um, I could have done it on the Play Choice 10 when he watched me, but I just made some stupid mistakes, so. But yeah, I've beaten this game many, many times. Deja Vu. This was the first Chemco game that I played. Um, an old friend of mine had this game and wound up beating it then. Which then, and my best friend introduced me to Shadowgate, which will be mentioned in another video. And which... I introduced myself to Uninvited, because I never got the chance to rent that one. So, Deja Vu was a lot of fun. Nice, good puzzles, and just all around good fun. Double Dragon 1. I recently beat Double Dragon 1, not for the first time, but recently beat it for a online YouTube challenge and I didn't remember how long it would be to beat Jimmy. That fight was just ongoing and it just took forever and I hated it. 
Double Dragon 2. This was the first Double Dragon game that I owned when I was younger, and it was tough for me then, and blessed be I did beat the game. The later levels are pretty difficult, but once you, once you know what you're doing, it gets easier. Double Dragon 3. Oh my god, this game. <laughs> this game is stupid tough. I've only beat it once and I said never again. <laughs> so that'll do it for part number one. I'll be continuing on with part number two in another video. So stick around for that and thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Take care.